When it comes to rocket launchers, it's hard to ignore HIMARS. Its engineers describe it as the most technically advanced, affordable, and sustainable artillery solution. This is one of the main reasons why they've been donated to Ukraine to help defend their country. HIMARS has been a game-changer in the war, but why is that the case? What makes this rocket launcher and its rockets so dangerous and in a world-leading class? That's what we're going to look at today in this video. HIMARS stands for High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, and its name tells you everything about why it's so useful. Not only is it a very powerful rocket launching system, but it's also very transportable, meaning that it's easy and quick to get it to where it needs to be on the battlefield. The creation of HIMARS was driven by the need to equip infantry, airborne, and rapid deployment units with high mobile rocket launchers suitable for airlift to anywhere they were needed. In early 2004, the production testing of the HIMARS combat vehicle was completed. During one of the tests, a C-130 plane successfully delivered to Fort Sill Eastern Firing Range in Oklahoma. In less than five minutes, the vehicle was unloaded. It then received a mission via combat data and fired off six training rockets. HIMARS became a lighter version of the M270 MLRS predecessor and entered into service with the U.S. Army and Marine Corps in 2005. 900 launchers were planned to be built, but reports suggest only 540 HIMARS launchers were built instead. The first certified unit to have HIMARS was the 3rd Division, 27th Field Artillery Regiment, 18th Airborne Corps. The HIMARS system features an M142 fighting vehicle, transport and charging vehicle, unguided and guided rockets, which we'll explain in more detail later, and fire control equipment. The M142 vehicle is made of a modified chassis of a 5-ton truck with 6x6 wheel configuration. The engine is a Caterpillar 3116 ATAAC diesel with gas turbine supercharging, 6.6-liter, and has 290 horsepower at 2,600 RPM. It also has six cylinders, a fuel reserve of 56 gallons, and a power reserve of 480 kilometers. The vehicle's transmission is an Allison Automatic 7-speed gearbox. The suspension on the M142 is parabolic with leaf springs. It has a very useful ground clearance of 564 millimeters, which helps it overcome water obstacles with a depth of almost a meter. The system can fire an array of rockets, and reloading is made by the crew in only 4-5 to five minutes. They're helped by an integrated crane and escorted by an MTVR Mark 37 resupply vehicle. This truck carries two sets of reload rockets and is also fitted with an integral crane. If needed, it can also tow a trailer with two more pods. The reloading process is done remotely from a firing position. This is done to avoid counter-battery fire. Pods with rockets can be unloaded in various locations down an arranged route. The launcher vehicle travels from one location to another, loads a new pod with rockets, fires them immediately, and then travels to another location to pick up a new pod. All of these traits help HIMARS to be ultra-portable. Another reason why this is the case is the portability of the whole system itself. This artillery system can be airlifted by a C-130 Hercules aircraft. This plane can only carry a single HIMARS at any one time. For more artillery, the larger C-17 Globemaster III can carry three loaded or four empty HIMARS systems if needed. This artillery system is rapidly deployable, and it can be airlifted anywhere in the world. On top of this, the wheeled vehicles can self-deploy over long distances if required. In terms of the rockets that HIMARS can fire, this is easily adjustable depending on the mission needed. M26 was the baseline 227mm rocket. It's 3.96 meters long and weighs 307 kilograms. This rocket had a range of 32 kilometers and fitted with a 120 kilogram dual purpose warhead equipped with 644 bomblets. These stats made it highly effective against troops and vehicles. Then there's the M30 guided rocket or guided multiple launch rocket system. Other names for this include guided MLRS or GMLRS. It was built to counter the threat of hostile long range rocket and cannon artillery. 
it was a replacement for the basic M26 rockets and other defunct weaponry. GMLRS has a 65 to 70 kilometer range and its built-in GPS means it has a much higher accuracy than its predecessors. It's fitted with a dual-purpose warhead with 404 bomblets. The M30 provides the same number of hits as the M26 and M26A2, but fewer rockets are needed to hit the target. Now M30A1 and M31A1 variants have taken over the original M30 GMLRS. HIMARS is also capable of launching the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATA-CMS. These rockets are designed to engage point targets such as command posts, missile launchers, air defense facilities, communication centers, warehouses of fuel and lubricants located in heavily guarded areas any conditions day or night. It performs its flight along the semi-ballistic trajectory when its initial acceleration is carried out on a pre-programmed rigid trajectory. After this, the flight is then in a controlled mode. The missile is controlled by aerodynamic rudders using signals from the onboard control system, which uses real-time information to adjust the angle of impact. It can be launched at an angle to the firing plane at ranges less than the maximum, which hides the coordinates of the starting position. ATA-CMS has recently been in the news as part of the defense package that Ukraine has received, but another type of rocket has also been in the headlines for the same reason. This is the ground-launched Small Diameter Bomb, or GLSDB, as designed by Saab and Boeing. These rockets are highly effective at long ranges against moving targets. The system uses an existing weapon paired with a rocket motor. The difference between GLSDB and traditional artillery weapons is that it offers 360-degree coverage for high and low angles of attack. In real terms, this means the weapon can fly around mountains to hit the enemy, or it can even circle back around to a target behind where the rocket was launched. It has a range of 93 miles in front of the launch vehicle, or alternatively, it can hit targets 43 miles behind it. This system has proved highly popular with U.S. allies around the world and has been exported to Jordan, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates. There are also other countries that have been considering purchasing the system. In 2022, Estonia ordered six HIMARS systems and in 2023, Taiwan plans to purchase 29 HIMARS vehicles. More famously, 16 HIMARS systems were delivered to Ukraine in order to help their defense against the Russian invasion. These proved to be an extremely accurate and deadly system for the Ukrainian army. Multiple Russian command posts, ammunition storages, and concentrations of troops and armored vehicles, as well as bridges, were taken out by HIMARS. More significantly, the location of a lot of these targets were well back from the Russian front lines. Russian air defenses struggled to cope with the accuracy of the attacks, and in comparison to Russian equivalents, HIMARS proved to have a better range in accuracy. Deliveries of HIMARS and M270 MLRS systems to Ukraine have made a huge difference in the narrative of the Ukrainian war. As Lockheed Martin says, HIMARS is one of the most cost-effective yet destructive weapons available. This has made it an excellent addition to the Ukrainian defenses. Its versatility but super-quick deployment speeds means it can be introduced to any part of the battlefield in record time. And once it's set up, rockets like ATACMS, GMLRS, and GLSDB have shown to be deadly accurate at a variety of ranges. As the war in Ukraine progresses, it's not known what will be its conclusion. But what is known is that HIMARS is having a massive impact in protecting Ukraine and its people with devastating impact. What do you think about the HIMARS? Let us know in the comments below and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.